So when I said about the nervous system, you have sensory and motor. The sensory uh, sends information, collecting the information from the sensory receptors and it relays the information to the posterior horn cells. And this, for this, the information uh, or the reaction is going to come through the efferent system. So one thing we have to understand that the human central nervous, uh, human nervous system is really reactive. Any sensory input given to that, the uh, nervous system should respond to that. It should detect that and it should respond to that. The response may be a motor response or motor silence. Uh, for example, I'm sitting in this chair. I am getting a constant sensory input from this chair, but I'm not giving any sensory output to that particular chair, uh, motor output to that particular chair. But when the sensory input from this chair is hurting me, I'm having some pain, then I slightly adjust my chair and I sit in a different posture where it doesn't hurt me. So either my central nervous system will give response or it will not give response. Both of them are considered to be the central nervous system or the nervous system response towards the sensory input. So it is detecting it whenever needed it gives response otherwise it remains silent both of them are considered to be the response so my dear friends for understanding a better neurological assessment the most basic thing is reflex arc and stretch reflexes are the basic thing for which you can do a, a large amount of differential diagnosis a huge amount of differential diagnosis can be done using this particular basic analysis uh, what is meant by a reflex arc you all know that when a sensory information is given through the skin uh, or through any uh, any other sensory receptors in the body the information is carried by the sensory nerve fibers and the information to your root ganglion through that it goes to the posterior horn cells and it goes to the anterior horn cells through the internuncial neurons. The internuncial neuron can be excitatory or that depends uh, on the uh, certain inputs which receives from the brain. And this information from the cells goes to the uh, motor system and the response is produced. In case if somebody is giving you painful sensory stimulus, this is going to be a strong motor output when it is going to be a very soothing and massage type of sensory inputs, your muscles are going to relax. So this is the reflex arc. So in order to find uh, the uh, uh, important centers here, important uh, features here, what are the important features? What are all the in, uh, contents which have to be intact for a proper reflex arc? You need, first of all, a uh, receptor okay uh, the sensory receptor is the first one one second is the sensory fibers proper spinal integrating area the reflex are by the spinal cord so you need a proper uh, uh, anterior horn cells numbers for the response to be produced this is a three the fourth one is the motor nerve fiber should be normal that is four and finally the muscle is the effector organ and the muscle should be normal that is the another component so how many receptor one sensory nerve fiber two the spinal integrity three the motor nerve four and the, uh, the uh, effector organ that is the muscle that is six but for testing this integrity every time you cannot poke a patient with a pin or you cannot give a sensory input regularly to know whether the reflex integrity is nice or not. So what you use to uh, find out this final integrity in the clinical practice is your deep tendon reflex.